All right, so Bant Party Bus. For those that weren't around a couple of seasons, though, we were playing a bunch of a bunch of different decks with this card. Lumbering Battlement here is the bus that everybody gets loaded up onto. So unless enters the battlefield, exile any number of non-token creatures you control. It gets plus two, plus two for each card exiled underneath it. Um, and then when it leaves play, it brings everything back into play that was under it. So this allows us to re-trigger, enter the battlefield effects that our various creatures have. It also, um, it also if you're fortunate enough to get three party buses together, it goes infinite. So three party buses looping in and out triggers infinite enter the battlefield effects. So you can gain a bunch of life, fight a bunch of creatures, draw a bunch of cards, make a bunch of food. Uh, Charming Prince notably does not go infinite with the party bus because it doesn't bring the thing back into play until the beginning of the next end step. But this is still a decent enters play effect. So And it pairs well with blinking our other enters play effects. So this does not go infinite with bus like Hostage Shaker did in previous seasons, but it's still just a reasonable card. We technically can go infinite with three buses, but it's a lot more unlikely than when we were able to go infinite with uh, with Hostage Taker as well. It's just less likely to come up with three of the same card, right? Let's dive on into a constructed event here and see how this goes. Turn two, Broco chat. Let's do it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Do -do 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 -do. There is a double creature tutor if we wanted to go full meme combo. That's true. That's true. We could have played. Well, that one, that one has to get two different creatures, right? No, you just draw a bunch of cards and gain a bunch of life, Kid Martian. Is the Twitch dashboard messed up again? No, title claims it's updated here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. So this is kind of a medium play from them, right? Because I get to just plus Oko here and then run my three threes into their Tamio. No, Spark Double cannot copy something as it's entering play, so it doesn't work. I, will not stand for such violence. I think we're just continuing to make food with the goose. Just like Oko, Oko and the goose, just running, a, running away with things here. I pay two mana plus my planeswalker, get a three three. It's good clean value. Concoct. Okay. Trying to high roll here. I can appreciate that. 
They're looking for like agent of treachery here, I'd imagine. Uh, we've not played Soul Diviner with Oko. It does seem something that's reasonable, though. All right, Oko, Oko and the Goose. Take another one down. Another one bites the dust. And another one down, and another one down. Another one bites the dust. Hey, they're gonna get you too. Another one bites the dust. Do, do, do. Ba -de -ba -de -de do, 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 do. All right, so I want Disdainful Stroke here. I feel like this is probably a Disdainful Stroke matchup. Wicked Wolf's probably not very good. We'll bring in a couple of, uh, I have Veil of Summer. They probably have discard spells, huh? This is probably okay. And I, I assume they have Agent of Treachery also. Let's give this a go. I've been singing Oko and the Goose to the sound, to the tune of Pinky and the Brain. I could dig it. And another one on, and another one on, another one rides the bus. Hey. Do 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 What is your quest? I seek the face. Yeah, yeah, the BCW sleeves are great. The Elite Guard 2s are phenomenal. If you are someone who plays competitive magic, especially someone who changes their sleeves frequently because sleeves just, you know, get grimy over time, stop overspending for sleeves and get yourself some BCWs. There. And they're eight bucks for a hundred before my discount code. Duress these. Oh, the discount code's different. Should be code Hoglandia. You know, details. Um, I'm gonna lead on this. Feels like they might have a removal spell here. Getting, getting this down makes this better later too, which is nice. Gives me a better chance to hit my land drop as well. They play like Anissa here. Questing Beast plus Elite Guard Mage threatened to kill her, which is nice. Man, they are just like all in on these Hyrule Concocts, huh? Well, they hit that time. Please take my elite guard mage. Please take my elite guard mage. Wow, took my land. That's flipping rude. Yeah, yeah, this card's great. This is another good card that you can utilize to attack Golos. Cavalier Knight, yep.
<sighs> so they're gonna get to Cavalier me, but I think it's important to kill Tamio here. They can't block this or this. We hit four of them to here. This trigger kills Tamio. I mean, I am stumbling on mana. So, like, trying to cripple my mana when I'm stumbling is, like, not unreasonable. Not, not beating through them, Tamioing back their, uh, their thing. Let's, uh, take the plane and some lands this time through. Match one, game three, the cannon fodder. Just, just getting started. Yeah, there's a bunch of Golos players that are just trying to win the mirror and they're, they're losing to aggro decks because of it. Which is great. I love punishing greedy decks. That's pretty unfortunate. We've not seen that card out of them yet. We're gonna wait on this so we can hold up these this turn. Like next turn, next turn I have four or five plus a six mana so I can play Questing Beast with Disdainful Stroke and Veil up still. Yeah, Once Upon a Time is really neat. I've been really, really impressed with that card overall. Even if it does do some silly things in uh, non-rotating formats. Um... I could just let this happen. They could miss. I guess if they hit like Black Cavalier, I'm pretty sad. If they hit Agent of Treachery, I just fail them and it's not a big deal. Hopefully they're just like paying five mana to surveil three. Literally, literally just paid five mana to, to mill that. The Black Cav does target, but the issue, the issue is that the Black Cavalier is a real body. Crunch. Whereas, like, Agent of Treachery is not a real body, especially because Questing Beast can attack through it. Mm. They have, like, Anissa this turn as well. We could be in a little bit of trouble, I guess. It's possible I should have played this out last turn to play around Nissa a little bit so I could have this plus this to pressure it. Stone Cold Nothing is real good for the home team. Big, 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 big fan of Stone Cold Nothing, all things considered. Gobble, gobble. Hey, Terran Terror. What's your favorite color and why is it green? Because green gets to do everything in magic, okay? It draws cards, it gains life, it has haste creatures. They have a big Hydroid Crisis here. We could be in trouble. I get to stroke the body, but they're gaining a bunch of life and drawing a bunch of cards. I 
They could have availed their own here. Nope. Green is the color wheel. Yeah, basically. Um... Sub to Jeff Lurkers. Come get your free time out. Thanks for the content and looking forward to the next nine months. Thanks for the nine months, turn three, Carndaddy. Welcome back. Green deeds for birds bells. We have Hornet Sting. Duh. Duh. I did start a little bit late this morning, to be fair. I didn't, I didn't start till like quarter after seven or so. Yeah, like even if they, yeah. Yeah, flame tongue kabus, we do green. Green has all the best flame tongue kabus at that. Sure. Hands missing a color, kind of, but Paradise Druid does some heavy lifting. MTG, MTGO is uh, pretty, pretty potato adjacent these days. The most recent update causing every game action to lag massively is, uh, is a real drag. Uh, we have not cast a bus yet. Don't compare it to potatoes. It's not fair to the humble potato. Oh, oh, great potato. I mean not to offendeth thee. So, as someone who's frequently been on the opposite side of this game, this play in this format, you just like, you feel like you can just never win after this play happens. You're just like, well, my opponent just added a 3-3 to the board and like denied my turn to play. Not a, not a good scene for the, the person getting wicked wolfed. Hey, Quintus Flavius, thank you for the seven months of support. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. Uh, thanks. This is, a, this is a really good draw to punish them, killing the wrong thing. I definitely think they're just too far behind at this point. Like they are, they are not a control deck, almost certainly. <sighs> opponent, opponent doesn't think they're scared of the big bad wolf. Little do they know. Okay. Do they have a shock to finish Oko? So it's a game you're interested in. Welcome to the feast. The prince ain't afraid of the big bad wolf. He ain't 
He and the wolf go way back, chat. Way, way, way back. Gobble, gobble. All about, all about that value, chat. The hell you. I'm gonna cut these knights. I'm gonna put in these uh, Veil of Summers. I expect my opponent to bring in some Noxious Grass and possibly Murderous Riders post board. It also counters a Priest activation, so. Actually, I probably want Devout Decree, huh? Just like two mana exile your thing. Questing Beast is kind of medium here. We're not really racing them a lot of the time. We're, we're a more controlling role here, I think. Yeah, I want these Prison Realms for that reason, too. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a couple of QBs in. Oh no, don't cut Oko. Get back, get back in my deck, Broco. I love you. I love you, Broco. Don't run away. Yeah, the, the elemental decks are just like, Risen Reef lends itself to a mid-range strategy, and mid-range strategies have kind of a hard time with these Golos decks. Obvious client bug, it shouldn't let you remove Oko from your deck. <laughs> Agree. Risen Reef also just like, gets elked. An update is available. Please restart Magic Arena. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. Maybe they're finally fixing all the client lag. Okay, chat? Maybe they're finally fixing all the client lag. <coughs> good, good joke. I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. At some point, I'll rem remember how to run an MSI file in Wine, but today is not that day. Oh yeah, are there patch notes? That's a good question. All right, so we'll take a short intermission after this game to make some patch notes or to, uh, to patch up. <laughs> For people who are also, for people who have trouble with the traditional updater or you're on Linux or OS X with Wine like me, reminder that this URL is your friend. It updates with the MSI file more quickly than the form thread does. It's been my, my secret to updating successfully. Yeah, they, they tweeted, I forgot that there was a patch this morning. They tweeted on Tuesday though that there was gonna be a patch today. So it's not a, it's not a complete surprise. <clears throat> you know you don't have Memekin on the site anymore. Uh, we played Memekin 
after the changes and I think it felt okay. I genuinely don't remember, Chalky. You should check check the YouTube video. I don't I don't put actual everything on the website. I mean decree's a good hit. They're also just like kinda dead, right? Like even even without decree, I have land toll smear next turn. <clears throat> Like, yep, you got it. Just a friendly reminder that elitist gatekeeping comments that have to do with this play was only bad because you're playing in a specific event is nonsense and just aren't welcome here. Players... Players make mistakes and make bad plays at all levels of magic. You'll see me make mistakes. You'll see MPL players make mistakes. You'll see players at the upcoming Mythic Championship make plenty of mistakes while playing on stream. Magic's got a lot going on in it. It's easy to miss things. You also, it's very difficult to judge what's correct and incorrect on my opponent's side of the board when we're playing with partial information. Like, in this instance, someone criticized my opponent trying to murder my wolf. Well, they were just working through my food. They needed to work through my food so they could eventually get the wolf off the table. And that's how, that's how magic works. <clears throat> it's not even just that magic is hard. It's just that it's complicated. It's just that there's a lot going on. I think I want that. And get up to 10 here, or 13 here, draw a card. Second Toll Smear is great. All right, so we're not quite done with this deck yet, but I'm going to uh, take a short break here to... Um, get the arena patch installed. So thanks everybody for hanging out today. Welcome to Hoaglandia. If you're a new viewer, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full time here on Twitch. As always, I'd love to give a shout out to all my wonderful subs. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their support. So thanks to all of them for keeping me employed. I'd also like to plug a couple of my wonderful sponsors here really quick. The Vitamin String Quartet creates unique instrumental string arrangements of everything from Zelda to Zeppelin. And they would love to underscore your next gaming session. You can find them streaming now on services such as Spotify and Apple Music. BCW Supplies, the only ones I trust to protect my paper, Magic the Gathering cards using code Hoaglandia at bcwsupplies.com. You can save 10% on sleeves, binders, deck box, and all sorts of other fantastic gaming accessories there with them. Cardsphere.com is a peer-to-peer -peer trading network that would love to help you turn your cards into other cards directed to other players. There's no haggling, and they just take a 1% fee off the top. And of course, the Nerd Rage Gaming Championship Series is a $5,000 cash tournament series that happens every single month in the Midwestern United States. If you can't make it out to the Midwest to play in one of their standard, modern, or legacy tournaments, be sure to check out their streaming coverage as well at twitch.tv forward slash NRG series. Don't make your life garbage time. Join us in Hoaglandia today by subscribing to Jeff Hoagland with Twitch Prime today. All right, look at that. Almost updated. If you don't, if you don't have fiber in your computer's diet, would highly recommend. Makes updates quicker. Yeah, so the so this is reinstalling. This isn't just the patch. I have to I have to reinstall when we when there's an update. This is this is the entirety of the game.
All right. As is, as is tradition with every time there's a patch, we're going to try and not restart the client for two or three hours and see if maybe this patch finally addressed the massive latency issues that we've had. Is there Brawl in the client yet? Can you play Brawl yet? Doesn't look like it. I ever think about doing a draft stream? Nah, I don't really enjoy playing limited. There's a ton of great people out there that all they do is make limited content, so I'd encourage you to watch one of them instead. I mean, I don't really care about if, if the patches were large, like I've got real bandwidth. How do you quickly do the reinstall with Lutris? Uh, I run the MSI I delete my existing wine directory. I install the MSI file in um, in a clean wine directory. And then I copy that cleanly installed MTG Arena over to my Lutris directory. It's not, it's not a very clean process, but it's super functional. Wanna bet we have to restart? Maybe the lag's worse. Have I used Steam Play yet? Uh, I did get it set up through Steam Play, but it's a little bit, it's not 100% smooth. It also requires having a second computer, which is not ideal. Open your heart to the magic that Have an elk. Batch notes are live. No, the Valve Wine. That's Proton. So Steam Play is references streaming it. And Proton, Proton is... Proton is just like patched wine. Hey, thanks for the tip, the Wargy Corgi. I appreciate that. Whoop. Is my dashboard dead? Come on, dashboard. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Thanks for making... The stream on my birthday is spicy. One more happy birthday to you. Quite been so hostile to the truth. One bite, and all your cares are gone. What does the Shadow Realm still exist? Oh! Oh, look at that. It's not, it's still shadowy. Ooh, ooh, all right, all right. We're like, that's, that's technically an improvement. It's even more, you can kinda, you can kinda see, see what's going on. What am I playing here? Okay, let's focus on the game for a second. I think it's land. Charming Prince Blink of the Goose. They redecorated the Shadow Realm. If you didn't if you didn't see what the Shadow Realm looked like before today's update, you should go on my Twitter. I tweeted I tweeted a Shadow Realm picture from yesterday. It's A plus. Very, very good content. Oh, we have a command. Excellent. Call me old fashioned, but I think crashes less frequently. Should it be something? Also, like, from my understanding, and maybe maybe it's just because I'm on an NVIDIA GPU, like, crashing isn't even the issue. The, the issue is that I frequently have to... The issue is that I frequently... No! No, they took my firstborn chat. They're going to kill Oko. 
Wait, are they not killing Oko? Oh. Oh, my sweet summer child. Oh, kids. Kids, kill the Oko, kids. Kill, kill, kill the Oko. In the, in the future, for reference, kill, kill the Oko. Now, in, in Arena's defense, the wacky graphics that happen there oh with Ultra Mode, that could very easily be a Wine or a Unity bug. I would, would not be surprised if they're not responsible for that one. You have an RTX 2080 and it does the same crap. Yikes. Let's get some Jund Walkers soon. We'll do Terran Terror. Sure. How did I discover the Shadow Realm? We were we were talking about if Arena had. Uh, we were talking one day about if Arena had uh, graphic settings, and someone was like, "Yeah, it does." So I was like, "All right, let's see it." So I didn't block with the wolf there, because if I block with the wolf and sacrifice to food, I would have uh, taken a damage, which would not have been ideal. They would have, I would have had to block both their things to keep, uh, to keep Oko alive. Yeah, these, these questing beast mid-range decks seem to have strong matchups against these random aggro decks. I have an NVIDIA 1080 Ti and I lag hard after a couple of matches. When I can load up a real video game run at 100 plus FPS arena. Yeah, yeah, it's really unoptimized. That, that's the, the biggest difference. Like loading, loading up Mythgard is just so fast. Like the client is just very fluid. It's a refreshing thing. We're playing that in contrast. Artifact, Artifact was very good tech. Mythgard's even fast on my phone though, which is nice. Because my phone's not super quick. Yeah, my phone's pretty okay, I guess. Slower than a computer though. Thanks for the great content. Here's hoping, watch, see, moving. The banner restricted change is a chai. To have changes to standard and maybe modern. Yeah, I'd be there's no reason for them to move up the ban list if they're not gonna change something, I don't think. Well, I was hoping to find a one or two mana spell to play with that once. The fact that we did not probably makes this hand too slow. I think I like the aggro alliance build the best. Artifact loaded quickly, helping expedite the process of realizing it was bad, then closing it again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm still waiting on my million dollar first place prize artifact tournament. Are there any lawyers in chat? Can we sue can we sue Valve for not delivering on that? If I like bought a bunch of artifact cards based on that promise? Is there, is there legal basis for that? I mean, you could, you could sue anyone for anything, right? You just might, you might not win. Yeah, you can always, always sue someone for something. If I'm playing a mono black deck, should my sweeper in the sideboard be Legion's End or Cry? It depends on what decks you're looking to beat Sunshine and what your creature base looks like.
As a Twitch lawyer slash brain surgeon, I say yes. Excellent. The, the problem with Artifact is that Artifact felt like you were playing... Artifact felt like you were playing, um, you were taking a math test. And as someone who has a master's degree in math because he likes math, it was not a fun math test. It was a tedious math test. About the action. Thanks for the Twitch Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. The, the big thing I learned from Artifact is I learned, I learned very quickly that it really, if you go back and look at which content creators were plugging Artifact as a good game, you can kind of weed out who was trying to latch on to the next big thing and who was being honest. Because there were some people who were like, this game blows because they played it and they were being honest. And then there were other people who were like, all in on trying to cash in on the next big card game. And even, even though the game sucked, they didn't want to say it sucked because they didn't want to get alienated by Valve. About the action, thanks for the brand new Prime support. Welcome to Hoaglandia. I, I don't know, Herbs, man. In fact, you should all go on Twitter and respond to my tweet asking that or hammer them, hammer them with that question. I tweeted at Magic Arena asking that and they haven't clarified yet or at Magic Esports. So here, they've still, they've still not clarified. So feel free to hammer them there and say, hey, can we get some answers? Yeah, I agree, Unknown Void. Even, um, and I, I don't know, like the existence of Mythgard and the Warhammer game and like all these other little card games that exist. It's like, there are so many good game designs out there that it's almost kind of sad in a way that Valve failed as bad as they did. But just the core design of their game was so atrocious. Yikes. All right, well. I guess we're scrying to. Yeah, Big Bad Wolf sounds good. I love my mouse and keyboard. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with my mouse and keyboard. Don't be mean to them. How was Modern earlier today? Uh, the Mardu Shadow Deck's very good. I don't know. The more the more Modern I play, the more I think Modern's become a format that's not for me. I've definitely I've definitely felt um, disinterested with the current format for a little bit, and it definitely I definitely feel like it got worse with the printing of Eldraine. We tricked him in. Yeah, we traded our land for a Grim Innate. It's a good trade. Once upon a time as well, Niv. Made, made linear combo decks better. Emery. Emery made the Urza combo decks faster and more consistent. Yeah, the, late, the latest Moto update hasn't helped either. The latest, the latest Magic the Gathering Online update, the application runs slower than Arena, and it runs slower instantly. You can't just restart it every three matches like Arena. Oh, vomit. Feels dead, man.
You wanna you want a not so hot take about modern? I think in the current modern format, Neo Shul Brand is a very good deck. In any format where Neo Shul Brand is a playable deck is a garbage format. Yeah, the Aristocrat decks are popular because they're aggressive and they're super fun. What is wrong with Neo Shell Brand? Games end before a player games that end before a player takes any game actions other than mulliganing suck and should not exist in competitive magic. This is actually a pretty sweet draw because when they when they edict me next turn the big bad wolf comes into play and eats the priest. So this is about to get sacrificed. Magic players should get to play some magic before they lose is a pretty controversial take. It is. It is in in 2019 it is. You play four Veil of Summer, and you play Leyline of Sanctity, and you sometimes just kill the Jund player before they take a turn. Oh, they're so cute. Edict me, Daddy. Edict me. I mean, any of the modes on this are good for us, right? So I want to stack these like this because I want to have this blink this and I want to have this bite this. So this'll fight, this'll blink, it'll come back and end of turn, it'll eat Rankle too. I think Historic with any amount of support is going to be wildly popular fairly quickly. And I think, I think Watch These knows that and that's probably part of the reason why it's getting buried because Historic's gonna detract from Standard. People, people love non-rotating formats, and there are a lot of people like myself that are sick of what Modern has become. There's also plenty of people who like Modern as is, but I also think there's plenty of people that are just sick of it. Yay, Greek Raider, Steven. And, and, and again, just to be clear, that's not to say I feel like all of Modern is bad, but there is a majority of Modern that I feel is very bad that I'm not excited about. Oh, honey. Oh, mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> How... As a, as a pretty, pretty decent turn. All aboard. 
On the inverse, the Eternal Wild format of Hearthstone is barely played. I'm curious how much of the current are Magic players as opposed to... Yeah, that's where, that's where the, that's why where the support comes from, Ark. So, this is something I've speculated on before, but I would bet part of the reason why Wizards wanted to charge a premium for Historic was because they know Historic has the potential to be popular and they wanted to support it. And I would, I would be willing to bet that because there was such an outcry and they had to roll back the double wildcard cost, that we're gonna see less support for Historic than we otherwise would have. Because with the with the cost being the same, it's a huge risk to Wizards bottom line to uh to have Historic be super popular. And I thought we were gonna lose this one for sure. And like, the bus just like showed up and like dragged us back out of it. Yeah, they did roll back the double wild card thing. So, Fury Pandemonium, thanks for the half a year. Moving on up. Do 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 triple party bus and any enter the battlefield affects the combo slacker. Arena just posted on Facebook that they have a mysterious announcements at two p.m. PDT. Thank for the half a year, P Mason. I appreciate that. Welcome. Do you have a link? Do they post on Twitter? I assume they mean left coast time. Yeah, it's, it's probably just Halloween stuff. I agree. I think we bottomed the bus in the dark. No, 2, 2 p.m. Uh, left coast time is uh, four and a half hours from now. I think I'll take a flying thread here. Party bus is bad. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to play party bus with once upon a time so I could have a little bit more punished for not taking a land. So I could have a little bit more consistency in finding the bus. And then like, once we were in green, it's like, all right, let's just play Oko. Hey, Big Zawine, glad you're enjoying the teamer deck. I love it as well. Thanks for the 25 months, welcome back. Looks like green black adventures on the other side of the table. That that missed land drop probably a death knell here. Like it is. Thank you for the 90, bleh, 96 in your name. Thank you for the brand new prime support. I have I have words. We words sometimes. I appreciate you keeping me around this month with that. Veil, I think, just comes in against all the murderous rider decks. They're also gonna have uh what's it called? Post board. They're gonna have um uh, noxious grasps. Thanks for the five months, sniff power. Welcome back. I think I trim some QBs here in uh, the green mid-range matchup. Let's give this a go. Opponent's, opponent's deck likely doesn't have many Planeswalkers in it.
Sure. Thanks for the recount. It figured I should support it. I appreciate that. Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime pays my mortgage. Let the greed consume you, chat. Let's draw an untapped land next turn, shall we? Let's draw an untapped land next turn, shall we? It's the worst that could happen, he says sheepishly. Papi! <laughs> Nothing but professionalism, chat. That goose has already been cooked, okay? Cook him again. Go for it. Nobody cares. He already did the thing. Ain't no thing, chicken wang. All right. I would like to scry two into a land, please. Yikes! Yikes! Hand meat cookie jar. Get acquainted. Oh no, chat. What if we don't draw a land? That would be so unlucky. Yeah, displate so... Um, I have not gotten my displays yet, but I got just got the message that they shipped out. So, Displate is one of the F2K sponsors. They are really neat. They're like metal, they're like metal posters from my understanding. And when I, when I get mine in person, I'm going to show them off on stream. I, will invert the world to watch kings I also have a, a personal code for them that you can use as well. I don't need to, I don't know what it is offhand. I was gonna, I was gonna plug them some more once, uh, once, uh, we, uh, I got my personal ones in. I think I have three of them coming in the mail. They have a ton of different games. Uh, I got a Pokemon one and a, uh, Chrissy really loves Spyro the Dragon. So we got one of those coming too. And then they sent all the F2K streamers and F2K one as well. Baker, thanks for the prime support. Welcome to Hoglandia. I appreciate you keeping me employed this month with that. You can also hang them using magnets. That's neat. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet some pictures and I'll have them on stream once they get here. They should be here soon. They told I got a shipping notification yesterday, I think. Sweet, yeah, hey, there's a... Uh... Perfect. Ten seems fine, need some lands, book it otherwise. That, that link has some of the ones that I picked out at it. I got one of the Eevee ones, I believe, and then my wife got the Spyro one. Thanks for digging that up, Coons. There are a ton of really good Eevee ones. Rude. Oh, right. There's my, my link is below the stream. Good call. Good call. Land. Land. Needing a land and drawing another four drop. That's peak. That's not peak Hoaglandy. I don't know what is. They're gonna kill the bird and then you'll draw the land. Sounds sounds about right. Oh no. Well, I mean, that's not a land, I guess. It's 
Flint land adjacent is accurate. Oh no, they're about to seek my face, chat. Don't do it. Don't seek my face. Oh no. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, that's actually that's actually a good a good the, there's, those displays probably make great Christmas gifts. If I had to venture a guess. Yeah, right, let's try one more with this one. We're three and one. Some of these have been clipping along a lot of aggro matchups. So if we hit four one or three two before we roll on to some four color wolves. Have you played Untitled Goose Game? I have not. What? What is it? I've heard other people mention that. I've seen some other social media rumblings. Oh, I should have goosed. Why didn't I goose? You're a goose and, and there are people to be awful to, okay? It's a puzzle game where you're a goose and your puzzles are to screw with people. All right. Can I beat this card? I feel I feel like I can't beat this card. At least not game one until we get some removal on our deck. Metal Goose Solid. I suppose if I had played the Goose on one, I would have been able to like play Battlement that turn as like a giant creature. But we're gonna play it as a six, seven here, but it's still like smaller than it otherwise would be. Feels, feels dead, man. Prison Realm, Decree. Knight's probably not very useful. I guess we had Wicked Wolf game one. This is probably okay for just running them down. This probably doesn't fight and kill much. Give this a go.
this is a keep, even with our green source being tapped on one. You know, if there's a special format you need to use to import decks in Mythgard. Uh, yeah, there's a certain way you, you list it to import things. It's super easy, though. It's just, like, number card name. And there's, like, deck name and stuff at the top. If you export an existing deck, you can see the format very easily. It's super, super clean. Makes, makes way more sense than Arena's import-export, believe it or not. Yeah, it's no, it's no wacky MTG format. If you look in the subs discord, we were sharing some decks in there last night. You can see it there too. It's very, very, like all the other technologies surrounding um, Mythgard, the deck import export is very well done. Yeah, Mythgard is free to play. They also have a really good system called their feature decks where when you sign in with your account, there's two ready to play constructed decks that you don't have to own any of the cards in to play with. So you just like, get to sample the game for free and play real constructed decks without putting any money in. And which which free decks you have rotate twice per week so you can play different ones. So, if you're on the, if you're on the fence about giving it a try, give it a try and play the sample decks. I spent I spent like 5 hours playing the sample decks before I put any money in. Yeah, you can use those on the rank ladder. I got, I got almost to silver. I, I went through like the whole first ranking with just like the feature decks. We don't, we don't have lands, but we've got five drops. Oh, I'm so dumb. They were very obviously an alliance deck, right? I definitely, I definitely boarded out, um, I boarded out, uh, my Knights of Autumn, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. If we, get a, if we get a game three, we'll have to fix that. We didn't see this in the first game, but I should have known that it was there based on the fact that we saw Pyromancer. The only thing about Arena's idiotic import format is that Moto uses a totally normal non-format and that platform has way more duplicate print. Yeah, yeah, Keeners. I mean, like, it's obviously just like lazy something they haven't had time for, right? Like... Converting a generic text format to whatever specific internal format they need is something a freshman programmer would be able to do for them. But like, they just very clearly don't have a desire to do that. For whatever, for whatever reason. Oko, Oko plus Wicked Wolf might let us just fight through these uh, improbable alliances here, which is great. Especially with the Prison Realm to clear this out. Uh, you cannot Oko the alliances. Oko does not take enchantments, only artifacts and creatures. I'm gonna 3-3 one of these geese rather than go down a food here. I remember hearing from a dev that the deck export feature got released accidentally. It was just going to be a test thing, but then it got pushed the release version. Yep, sounds, sounds about right. I 
I don't know, it seems unnecessary, Wargy Corgi, would be my thoughts. Like, why do I... Why do I need multiple Okos? Like, one, one Oko usually wins the game. Why do I need a second? Although, that duplicate card can also, um... It can copy Questing Beast, right? Which might be real. Getting, getting a second Questing Beast could be pretty lit. I do, I do love me some QB. QB, QB and I go way back. What do I think of the magic announcement? Pushing up the field of the dead band. I think it's incredibly silly. I think, I think if their intention is to ban field of the dead, they should rip the bandaid off and do it now before the mythic championship. I think announcing that you intend to change the format the day after your big tournament kills a bunch of the hype from your big tournament. Very needlessly. My my excitement to watch the Mythic Championship went way down when they made that announcement because it means that the decks that I'm watching are mostly irrelevant. Hopefully it's not standard. I actually like this standard format. So like, I don't... I don't know why. Weird that they did... Oh, they're bringing Phoenix back. I was like, weird that they did that, but they want to get their bird back, I guess. All right, so... Huh? We're kind of in a medium spot here because they just, like, provide endless crap. I guess I can take the bird and smash. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> Fairness. What bizarre expectations. A few days ago, you said standard settled into a tri triangle meta. So I added Unmored Ego to the Drown in the Lock deck. Turns out Field of the Dead's not a problem anymore. That is one good way to attack it. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of good ways to attack things in this format. Gonna make another food here, so that way Oko, Oko's got plenty of things to turn into three threes. Yeah, modern, modern could definitely stand to have another round of bands. I think standard's pretty okay though. Yeah, Prince, Prince has been a pretty reasonable card overall. Pretty, pretty decent. I don't understand your question, Telrand. Yeah, Drawn in the Lock was great. The blue-black control deck that we put up on the website has been, Drawn in the Lock's been very good in it. It's a nice 3-3. Three, three. I think the Horizon Lands are too good in the burn deck. I don't know. The more, like I said, that the, there's people that like modern, you should enjoy modern. The more, the more I play the current modern format, the more I kind of feel like I come to the conclusion that the current modern format's just not magic for me. And that, that in conjunction with Magic Online, like getting worse every update, 
Like, it's really tough to play. I think I think I might run out the modern decks in the queue and then take a break from the format. I think it's probably, probably a reasonable idea. Which, there's a little bit of a backlog in the queue, so it's going to be a few weeks still, but... Just John, thank you for the five months of Prime Sport. Welcome back. I appreciate that. What was my strategy here? Yeah, the idea that you can play anything is a pretty blatant lie, though. You can lose with anything. You can. The idea that you can play anything in in moderns, like saying you can play anything in the standard format, it's like, well, technically you could play anything in the standard format, but you're gonna lose with most of it. All right, so I'm doing this, and then what if I what if I Oko again and make another three three? If I do that, can they go double block here and then block block block? I don't want them to be able to get the Phoenix back is the issue, so I don't think I want to be that aggressive yet. This was a build around submission, Rapid Wallaby. I think I'm playing on a 4 5 this turn. It's like putting another fat thing into play. And then next turn. So they're at three now, which makes all of my Oko pluses lethal. So, next turn we'll have, uh, I don't want to exile anything with this, submit zero. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six lethal attackers next turn. Oh, they have food as well though, or something to think about in that. Oh, rough. Probably dead here if I had to venture a guess. I think this deck's just a worse version of the other Oko decks. Mean Bean is what it comes down to. Think the the details surrounding the food package in this deck are uh, are just worse than like the teamer deck that we've been playing. This card, this card's cute, but ultimately it's like pretty inefficient and cumbersome. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Nah, that's just too slow. It's too slow and clunky to coordinate, Garth. And then, and it's not meaningful. Like, that's just basically playing casual magic, and I really don't have a desire to play casual magic, especially not on Magic Online. If I wanted, if I wanted to play casual magic, I'd rather play, like, Brawl or Historic. So, diving into Historic sounds exciting. We're going to be doing that soon. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Yeah, over, overall, this one was uh, just kind of okay. Like I said, I think the the details, the details surrounding like what the food package was doing in this deck are definitely a little bit medium compared to some of the other details that we've had in the format. It was kind of cute. Like Pr Prince Charming actually is my takeaway from playing this. This card was like useful at several points. It's possible if there's another white deck with Wicked Wolf, this might be okay. Like, maybe the Four Color Wolves deck we're about to play wants some Prince Charming in it. We could. We could think about that. Um, that's going to be it for that one. We're going to dive into a different food package deck here that has some other details. we got a Night Pack Ambusher Wolves type things going on here. So this is a Four Color Wolves deck. Before we do that, we're going to take a quick ad break so I can run to the restroom and refill my water bottle. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out today. Hope you're having an excellent